if we could hit the reset button and there's power and forgiveness. We're going to restore you to chief of police. It's going to say, bad chapter, but you've got a long history. Let's get back to work. Would you predict, whew, thank God, and not screw it up? No, I, I would definitely appreciate that, but I would be fearful that it would happen again. I don't think you'd make it a week. You're on a dating site now. You're not out of this quagmire. You got criminal charges against you right now. And you've got a divorce and you got 200,000 women in a Facebook group dogging on your ass and you're posting yourself up on a dating site and women are passing it around like you've got Ebola saying, hey, warning, warning, toxic, 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 toxic. And you're not through blowing this mess up before you're getting into the next one. That's the worst possible thing you can do. And I'll tell you what I think. Number one, I do not think you are an evil human being. I think you have made really immature choices. I think you have distinguished yourself in law enforcement and, and I thank you for your service. And if I had bad guys coming at my house and you were the officer that showed up on the scene, I would have every confidence that you would discharge your responsibility selflessly and professionally. But I think personally, you are relationship dependent and have so many unfinished emotional needs that you would be a complete train wreck in terms of how you handle things going forward. You don't need to be in a relationship right now. The most important relationship in your life is the one you have with yourself because it's the longest relationship you'll ever have. It's the most intense relationship you'll ever have. And you aren't being honest with Jason. You don't have the ability to put boundaries up. You got caught this time. You were connected to other women before your first marriage was over. And you're involved with a bunch of women here before this marriage is over. And you say, well, okay, now I'm on a dating site again because I'm getting a divorce, but you don't have a divorce. Right. You need to finish one thing before you do another. And you need to do a relationship autopsy on the marriage that you're getting out of before you start another relationship and ask myself, what did I do to contaminate the relationship I'm in? What did I do to contaminate? Well, I cheated, I lied, I manipulated, I was deceitful, I betrayed, I used, abused, I did, I don't have enough fingers to list all the things you did to poison the marriage that you're in right now. And you will do those things with the next person you meet if you don't take care of those issues right now. The first thing I think you need to do is this starts neurologically. I have a very dear friend, Dr. Daniel Amen, and he is the, the head of the Amen Clinics. There are nine of them um, in the United States. And PTSD is not just psychological, it's neurological. You need to start out finding out what's going on in your brain. And so I want to arrange for you to have a, a neurological workup. And then I think you need some emotional help and emotional counseling. And I will arrange to start that with you as well. We have our own company, Doctor On Demand. I'll set up 10 sessions immediately for you to, to work with a board certified, licensed, doctoral level clinical psychologists to start talking with you after we get the brain scan information to know what to do to start digging your way out of this. We can turn this around, Jason. I, I totally accept any help that I can get. So you're, you're exactly right. I'm, whether I'm 430 pounds or I reach a, you know, a weight loss goal, I don't like me. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.